I don't have a poem to read by Muriel because the poem that I most love, I know by heart. And it's very short. And I kept it on my wall for many years. And it goes like this. For God's sake, they are connected underneath. People think islands are separate like them. I met Muriel at Sarah Lawrence in 1963. She had suffered a stroke. I didn't know this. Of course, I didn't know her either. There was this large, handsome, forceful woman, but also a little strange because of the stroke, I now understand. And we all just accepted her strangeness as being a little zen. She was very different from most people. She, she spoke sometimes in poetry. Uh, and that was lovely, but it was also so different, you know. Her primary teaching about poetry was to help us understand why people resist it and why they fear it. First of all, they really don't want to encounter any depth in themselves. You know, that to go really deep in yourself means that many people who were uh, open to poetry ended up in, in, in lunatic asylums because you, you risk a kind of madness if you begin to actually feel uh, what you understand. <laughs> you know, I mean, there are so many people who can understand it, but they wouldn't dare feel it. That's the hope, that's the faith, that people don't have to stay asleep, they don't have to stay afraid, and poets are notorious for, you know, storming the Bastille. You know, they're out there making that effort. And Muriel was one of the giants in that way. She was in politics, she was in the study of science and history, and she was traveling the world, she was writing poems everywhere she went. She was making connections. And it's just possible that, you know, uh, it's because of poets like Muriel that some people do survive as whole. And you would want that for a society, for a culture. Poetry is just so radically truthful. You cannot evade really good poetry. There's no way. And also, it means that the person who is writing it is a free spirit. I started writing poetry when I was two. My first poem was Easter Lilies Pure and White Blossom in the Morning Light. And everybody loved it. And after that, there was no stopping me. And I haven't stopped. And I love it because it's completely free. There's no way to control it. It comes when it will. But it, it comes. It's, you know, it, it truly is a muse. It is free. It is free and it is fearless.